It's Terry here at Johnson Control Division of D Lab Electronics. Today we have the challenge of a Johnson Challenger that blows fuses when the high voltage is applied. Let's give it an inspection and see if we can find something obvious. So the Challenger is a CW and AM transmitter running a pair of 6DQ6 sweet type tubes and I believe this was the only transmitter that they employed those in. So looking at over top side you can see a little bit of damage to this output coil assembly. There's a little bit of corrosion on the meter terminals. But everything looks pretty good. Chassis pretty clean except for this. Got us a racing stripe coming up from behind the output tubes. Something down below is probably turned into charcoal. You better take a look. Okay, here we are bottom side. You can see the transmitter has some new filter caps, which is a good thing. Everything else looks pretty decent under here, except for right down here, by the base of one of those output tubes. You can see there's a 500 picofarad cap, and he obviously melted down. There's a crack across the top, and all the soot and flames went that away. Looks like it baked a wire here, and there's a big old carbon path. So first thing I need to do is get that cleaned up, carve out that cap, replace it. We'll give this thing a few other checks and we'll bring it up on a Variac. Well there's the value of a quick inspection. Get the violators out of there before you apply power. The owner told me that he put in a couple 5U4 tubes because they kept burning out. I wonder why. Man, that guy, look at that. It is like cooked. All right, I'm gonna clean out the carbon, pop in another cap, and we'll check the high voltage line for any other shorts before I apply power. I got the new cap installed. Still a little bit of cleanup work to do, but it's good enough for testing. Now I'm gonna check the high voltage line, make sure the shorts are gone, and then we can apply power. So here's our high voltage filter cap. You can see it charge and pretty much go open. So I do not see any lower resistances on the high voltage line. So I think we're safe to bring it up on a Variac. I've got the transmitter in tune position. I'm bring up the Variac slowly. Watch the current. So far I'm sitting at about a quarter amp. 50 volts input. Current's holding steady. That's a good sign. Up to about a half amp. So far, so good. All right. So let's get a crystal in it and see if I can get any activity on that meter. I've set my Variac for about 70 volts. We're still in tune. We're looking for grid drive at this point. Nothing yet. Oh, bang, bang, bang. There's that famous Johnson meter. All right, good. So we've got grid. Let's see if we can get any output. Well, I'm hearing it. Quick plate, dip it. We should be somewhere on 40 meters. Getting a little bit of output. Not much. I guess we need to apply full power. Alright, plugged it right in. See our power jewels on. 
Let's go to CW. Oh, yeah. Getting a little over 100 watts out. No flames. Good thing. Oops. I'm hearing a little bit of arky sparking going on, but I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, I'm not seeing nothing. Looks alright. It's probably just me. Here's phone. Alright. So this transmitter suffers from the same thing that the navigator and the rangers did is you have to use this function switch. So over time, it's going to wear out. Alright, I'm going to get a key on this thing and do a little sending. I got a key on it. We're going to go ahead and listen on my little DX150B receiver. CW mode. A little bit of chirp, but it's working. All right, so let's test the AM mode. I've got my receiver up here set up for the 40 meter band. Go to phone. One, two, there it is. Hello, one, two, three, four. Yeah. She's talking. This microphone that I'm using is not the best of quality. It has some great feedback though. Anyway, it's working. So I've saved another classic piece of ham radio gear from the dump. Now there's a lot more that this transmitter needs. I spotted a lot of questionable caps and resistors. But the good thing is, is the short's gone. It's got full output. CW and AM mode are working. So good deal for the Challenger.